Good morning, elephants, and good afternoon, dinos. It's Wacky Wednesday. It's wonderful, wacky, wow, wow, wubsy Wednesday. How are you today? It's a beautiful, sunny day today. I'm really glad about that. Look what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my Superman shirt or Supergirl, right? I'm wearing a superhero shirt because I'm honoring all the superheroes in my life, and man, there are a lot of them. One of my favorite superheroes is you guys, because I know you're doing a superstar job getting all your work done, okay? And also our parents, our grown-ups are also our superheroes, our teachers are our superheroes. And most importantly, there are some people that go out to work every single day to help people, to help them be healthy and safe. And those are, we call them our essential workers and they're the people that have to go out every day. People who work in hospitals, doctors and nurses and nurses aides and people who clean the hospital and people who feed the people in the hospital. The, our first responders, our firefighters, our, our police officers, our paramedics and EMTs who go to the people's houses when they're sick, help them right away and then take them to the hospital so they can be helped further, okay? These are all important people in our lives and we want to say thank you. You're all our superheroes, okay? That's why we're wearing superhero stuff today, right? Okay, so I want to talk about the life cycle of a plant. We talked about these. What are these? Those are the seeds. That's what we have to start with is the beginning, right? This is a story. It's in a book called um, Sunflower Life Cycle. And this is one of the chapters. It's a chapter book, okay? It's an informational text. It is nonfiction because it's about real science, okay? Here's the seeds, right? Okay, the seed, the sprout, the flower, and the seed again. Look at that. It starts as a seed and ends as a seed. Pretty cool, right? Here's the life cycle. Day one. In spring, a sunflower seed is planted in the ground, in the soil. We need the soil. By the first week, week one, a sunflower seed germinates. It bursts open and a little plant starts to grow. We know it needs sun and water. After two months, a sunflower opens all its bright petals and blooms. And then after four months of being able to look at that beautiful flower, after two, two months later, a shriveling sunflower drops its seeds so that new plants can grow. Okay, the sunflower makes us all kinds of seeds in here. You know you can eat sunflower seeds. If you take the outer shell, there's a part inside that you can eat and it's super yummy. So that's how seeds are good for us, right? How plants make seeds for us that we can eat, okay? They grow in the middle here, and then when the flower dies, all these drop to the floor. Hey, but wait a second. We said that we don't want all those sunflowers growing in one place. So, hmm, I wonder, how do those sunflower seeds move around? Do they grow feet and start walking around like, I want to go grow over there? No, that's silly. What do they do? Well, if it's a windy day, the wind might blow some of them around, right? We also know that animals disperse seeds. Disperse means to take it and put it someplace else, right? We know that animals, birds eat seeds, and we know that squirrels do. They eat nuts and acorns. Acorn comes from a tree, right? We see Mr. Squirrel in our yard taking those nuts and those seeds and the acorns, and what does he do with them, right? He buries them for the winter. But do you think he can remember every place he buried a seed or an acorn? No. So what happens if he doesn't go back and get that acorn or that seed? <gasps> Something grows. You leave it alone in the dirt, it gets sunlight and it's in the soil, it gets air and it gets water and boom, it grows. So animals help disperse seeds too, right? So I just went outside before because I was looking for this, okay? I was looking for a dandelion to take in here and blow for you. You know how we blow on dandelions and make a wish? Well, guess what? It's been so windy that all I could find was were dandelions that haven't opened up yet or bald dandelions. <laughs> there were nothing on them. So what I did was I brought this into you. This is after the yellow flower blooms like the sunflower and it closes again and it turns into seed. And I sent you a YouTube video which speeds up the process. So you can watch the dandelion grow into a flower and then burst open into seeds and then blow away, right? So I opened this up and I took all of these out. These are the seeds, see? You see the brown tops? Those are the seeds and they have a little, they actually have transportation. 
they go, they take a, they take a ride. They take a ride on those feathers. They look like feathers, right? So they fly. So when they blow, there they go. They're not here anymore, right? Look, it's a bunch of them. They blow everywhere and they're going to grow everywhere. Okay. So that's what happens. That's the life cycle of a plant, a flower. That's a flower. So look, I, you have a book that you can make. I love when you make your own books because you get to cut it and staple it and then you get to read it and color it. And after a while, if you read it enough times, you get to know the words and you, you're reading, okay? You're practicing reading by reading these books, okay? So I want you to be doing this. I want you to color, I want you to cut it, and I want you to read it, okay? So as we're reading this, it's telling us the steps, okay? There's steps that you have to take to grow a plant, and this is gonna tell us about it. So it's called How to Grow a Plant. Do you think this is going to be fiction, a made-up story, or is it going to be non-fiction, an informational text about how to do something? I think it's going to be an informational nonfiction text that's going to tell us how to do something. So here we go. First page says start with an empty pot. That's all you need. Then add some soil. Another word for soil is what? Dirt. Yes, you could go in your garden and get the dirt. Or you could buy dirt. Next, you dig a small hole with a trowel. That's, a, that's another fancy word for a shovel. But if it's small, like the one I made, you could just use your finger and stick a hole in there and then make a hole easily. And what are you going to put in that hole? What's this? Seed. Place a seed in the hole and cover it up with what? Soil. That's what I did the other day with my plant. What does it need? What is that? Give the seed a little water. Knock, knock, little seed. Here's your water. Here's your signal to start germinating, to start growing, right? What else does it need? You know, what's this? Then place the pot where it will get some sun. Okay, just like you took your beans that you are germinating and you put them in the window, right? You are germinating them so we could see what they look like. Because Can we see through this? Can we see through dirt? No, we can't. We want to see it happen. Okay? Make sure to water every couple of days. You don't want to water it too much. You just want it, it's thirsty and it needs just enough water. We don't want to drown it. That's why we said don't put the beans in the water in the Ziploc. Let it sit up out of the water and put the water in the paper towel. It'll keep it moist in there, right? Soon a sprout will appear. Look, it's a seedling sprout. That's what I have here. I planted this sunflower several weeks ago, two weeks ago. It took a little longer than a week, and then it popped out. So what do you have to add, right? With water and sunshine, your plant will continue to grow. You need to take care of it. If it's, in, if it's out in nature, nature takes care of it, right? But if you own the plant and it's your little plant, you're going to take care of it, right? So I'm gonna take care of this plant. I'm going to put it in the sun. I'm gonna keep it watered. And I hope I have a big, beautiful sunflower by maybe September or October, okay? That's when the sunflowers come out. You know, flowers grow all differently. Some of them uh, grow right away. Some of them bloom in the spring. Some of them bloom in the summer. And some of them bloom in the fall, and that sunflower does. But the dandelions bloom all around, all around in the spring and summer. When you see them popping up on your grass, they'll be yellow. And if you wait, they'll turn into this. And then if you wait, they'll get puffy and all the seeds will, dis will disperse in the wind. I wanted to show you something. I have a, ba I have a pine tree in my backyard and all these are constantly falling from the tree. You know what this is? It's a pine cone. It's a seed also. Inside are the tree's seeds. Cool, right? Okay, so one thing I wanted to point out is when I was reading this story, there were words in there that told me how to do the steps of growing the plant. They were transitional words that we use, like first, next, then, soon, second, after, those kinds of words. So what I did is I went back in the story the second time I looked at it and read it, and I underlined where I thought I saw those stories, and certainly your grown-up will help you with this, but I underlined the word then, because it's, it says start, 
start, right? That's the beginning. And then what happens? Then what happens? That's a transitional word. Another one is next. I underlined next. That was some that was part of the steps. Next, what do I do? And then I think it said then again, right? And I underlined every time I saw a word that I thought here was a transitional word, then your grown-up can help you with this. This is starting to use different words when we talk or when we write or when we read, right? These are called tra transitional words. And here, soon, soon a sprout will appear. Those are all transitioning words like first and then and next and soon, right? Lastly, so I, got, I, I sent you a worksheet, okay? Here's a worksheet. It's called sequencing. Sequencing uses those words, those transition words like then and next and first. Right? I colored the bird blue. Isn't he pretty? So what you're going to do is you're going to cut these out, right? But before I cut them out, do you know what I did to make it easier? I took a different color marker, or you could take a different color crayon, right? And I see there's four different sequencing words. First, next, then, finally. I underlined each one in a different color. Green, blue, orange, pink. And then I went down here and I matched the words. Let's see, I see first here. Hey, if I don't know how to read it, I'm gonna look for the word that starts with the letter F. First, first, I made it green. Next, starts with N. Next, next, I made it blue. Then I found then, starts with the T. I looked for the word that starts with T. I made it orange. Look, this one also starts with F, but I see that it's a longer word and has a Y at the end. These are all the hints I'm using to learn the words. I took, finally, I underlined it in pink and I put it down here. So it was in order. First, next, then finally. And then I read it with, you can read it with your grown up, okay? This is how it goes. This is um, how to grow a flower, right? Grow a seed. First, she planted the seeds. Next, the sun came out. Then, a tiny plant popped up. Finally, a flower bloomed. She didn't give you every step that she did, okay? Because it's outside, maybe the rain's going to come on its own, right? So let's talk about the sequencing words. First, next, then, finally. Okay, so then I went down here and I looked at these pictures. And I had to decide which picture depicted those words, okay? So first, it says first she planted the seeds. Which picture do you think she's planting seeds in? I see a girl and a packet of seeds and she's putting it in the ground. So I think that's first. So I made it green because first is green, okay? Then the sun came out. Which one shows the sun coming out? That's easy. I see the sun right here. I made next blue. So I made the sun, I made this blue, okay? Then a tiny plant popped up. Which one is showing the tiny plant, the seedling? Then, then is orange. I made the seedling orange. And then finally, that's the end part, the last thing that happens. Finally is another word for lastly. Finally, a flower blooms. Which one do you think is a flower blooming? Right here. So I made finally pink, so I made the flower pink. So now I'm going to, what you're going to do is cut it, and then you're going to paste it. And you always put the glue on the piece, not the paper. Okay, you turn the piece over, you put the glue on, you hold it with your finger, right? So first, which, what happened first? First, she planted the seeds. There she is planting the seeds. Next, the sun came out. There we go. Then a tiny plant popped up, which is the tiny plant right here, right? Finally, a flower blooms. That's my sequencing story. Okay, so not only is it reminding me the steps that you have to take to grow a flower, it's teaching me about sequencing words, transition words like first, next, then, and finally. I'm not going to do a super job. I would like you to color every picture because the more you color it, the prettier it looks and the more you're going to want to look at it and the more you're going to learn, okay? So go outside today and find some of these. See if the wind didn't blow them all away yet. And if they did, all you have to do is wait because by tomorrow this will be open. Okay, have a great Wacky Wednesday.